Hello. In this lesson, I will talk about scleroderma neonatorum. Scleroderma neonatorum is a condition that causes generalized hardening of the skin due to inflammation of the subcutaneous fat. The subcutaneous fat is a layer present immediately beneath the skin, which is made up of fat. This occurs in newborn babies. When we see what happens in scleroderma neonatorum. In this case, the subcutaneous layer underneath the skin, predominantly made of fat, undergoes severe paniculitis inflammation. This inflammation causes the skin lining, along with the underlying fat, to harden. These hardened structures get adhered to the underlying structures, like the bone and the muscle, thus compromising the normal bodily function of the baby. When we see the cause of scleroderma neonatrum, the cause of this disease remains unknown. It is said to be associated with the following conditions. Those conditions are septicemia or sepsis, hypothermia, especially severe hypothermia, severe hypokalemia, any congenital anomalies, and the respiratory and gastrointestinal complications. The exact cause of scleroderma neonatrum is not known, but it predominantly affects very sick premature infants. Subcutaneous adipose tissue neonates is rich in saturated fats as compared with the subcutaneous fat composition of older individuals. This special biochemical property of neonatal fat makes it more likely to harden in a cold environment. It has been suggested that decreased body temperature encountered in clinical shock trigger subcutaneous adipose hardening in scleroderma neonatra. However, Fat hardening should not occur until skin temperature is below the freezing point, which argues against this explanation. So, the alternative theories propose that scleroderma neonatorum is a consequence of abnormal fat metabolism, results from dysfunction of the connective tissue surrounding the adipocytes, or it's a downstream effect triggered by systemic toxicity. When we see the significant features of scleroderma neonatura, this problem usually affects the area with subcutaneous fat, such as the buttocks, thigh, trunk, scapular region, deltoid muscles, and the cheek areas. It starts appearing on the buttocks and the thighs and the spread to the other areas. The spread is as rapid as in a day or two. This condition does not affect the areas without subcutaneous fat, such as the palmus, soles, and the genitals. The skin is usually flat, stiff, cold, tense, and pale. It does not favor pinching or pulling and cannot be pitted. This condition usually does not show any edema, and the newborn cannot flex the joints, including knee, elbow, wrist, and hip joints. They also show a mask-like facial appearance due to the inability to open the mouth completely. Regarding treatment, the treatment of scleroderma neonatorum is treating the underlying disease. And also always we should have to make a careful handling of the newborn and the proper temperature control. And also we should have to focus on fluid and electrolyte correction when we treat a neonatal sepsis. Recently, steroid therapy and exchange transfusion have significantly improved the outcome of scleroderma neonatorum. So we can give IVIG and exchange transfusion if it is a severe scleroderma neonatorum, which is refractory to treating the underlying sepsis. This is all about scleroderma neonatrum. Thank you for watching.